We're excited to announce an integration with YOLO V8, the newest in the family of YOLO models. YOLO V8 provides real-time object detection and image segmentation and offers unparalleled performance in terms of speed and accuracy. With Label Studio's integration, you'll now have access to a whole host of YOLO Durbin functionality. Let's take a look. First, let's take a look at how to connect your YOLO model to your Label Studio instance. As with any of our ML backend integrations, you'll want to start by Git cloning the repository, or Git pulling any updates that may have happened. Once you've cloned the repository, you'll want to open up the YOLO folder inside your favorite explorer and open up this Docker Compose file. Once you're in Docker Compose, you'll want to update your Label Studio URL and your Label Studio API key. I'm going to fill those in and then we'll keep going. Once you've updated your Docker Compose, you're ready to start running the container. You'll want to use docker compose up dash dash build to build and run the container. Now that the container is up and running, we're ready to go. We recommend using ngrok to host a local forwarding link. Let's go ahead and copy that now. Finally, we'll navigate back to Label Studio and open up a new project. Here, I'm going to use a YOLO test that I've already established. In the settings, you're going to navigate to Model, and you'll click on the Create New Model button that appears. Here, we've already connected one, so we're going to click Edit. You'll give your model a name, and you'll provide the backend URL that we just copied. Make sure you toggle Interactive Presentations on, and then click Validate and Save, and you'll be ready to get going. We're excited to show you all the different functionality you can use with your YOLO model. For all the sample projects that we'll show you, we've already gone ahead and connected our YOLO model to the backend, as shown here. Let's start with object detection using the Label Studio Rectangle label tag. If we go to the labeling interface and click on code, we can take a look at what this sample interface looks like. What we've really done is copied and pasted from the README. Now, when we go to the data manager and we click on a new image that has no predictions yet, as shown by the zero, It will automatically populate our image with the image bounding boxes that we're trying to predict. We also support oriented bounding boxes, or OBB. To enable OBB mode, simply add model underscore OBB equals true to your rectangle labels tag in your labeling config, as shown in the readme. The next functionality we support is image instance segmentation using the Label Studio polygon labels tag. Polygon labels allows you to better capture the exact edges of an object in your image. As with the object detection example, we've copied and pasted the example from the README into our labeling interface code base and connected our YOLO model. Now, when we go to the data manager and click on an image that has no annotations yet, you'll notice that it populates with polygon labels instead of rectangles. We also offer image classification with YOLO. To use image classification, simply add a choices tag to your labeling interface as shown here. We offer a few different ways of classifying these images. The default is to choose choice equals single, where you can select only one label. The ML backend will return the label with the highest confidence using the argmax strategy. If you use choice equals multiple, the backend will return all labels with a confidence above the score threshold parameter. In this example, we'll be using the default choice equals single, which is not shown in the config as it is the default setting. Now, if we go back to the data manager, and click on an image that has not yet been labeled, you'll see that it automatically populates our answer. Another image functionality we support is pose detection. Here, we combine the rectangle labels tag we used earlier with the key point labels tag. This allows us to mark key points in the image, along with adding bounding boxes around each object, in this case person, that we're trying to detect. Let's look at this in action. If we go back to the data manager, and we click on this sample that has not yet been annotated by the model, we'll see that the image is automatically tagged with key points and bounding boxes. With respect to video, we're excited to support video object tracking. This makes use of the video rectangle tag in Label Studio. Notice here that you can specify which tracker you'd like to use. The best tracker to use with YOLO depends on your specific needs, and we talk about this more in the README if you're interested. Here, we'll be using bot sort. Note also that you can pass the parameters that you'd like to use for your tracker. Let's take a look at this video tracking in action. If we go back to the data manager, we can see that we have two tasks that have predict automated predictions completed and one that does not. Even with shorter videos, this can take a minute. So we're going to take a look at one of the already completed ones and we'll show you what to do with longer videos in a minute. 
When you click into the task, you'll notice that each of the items that we are looking for has been automatically labeled in our bounding boxes, and that we can go ahead and track where they go and how they move throughout the video. One last note about these different functions. You can combine multiple actions in the same project. All you need to do is add whatever functionality you'd like to your Label Studio labeling interface code, and we'll take care of the rest. In this example, we've combined bounding boxes, shown here at the top with rectangle labels, with image classification, shown here at the bottom with our choices tag. But you can do whatever you'd like. Now, if we go back to the data manager and select this unannotated image, You'll notice that the bounding box appears on the image and we've labeled the choice with car, the most likely classification for this image. Let's go back to the README for a minute. You might have noticed that we have a section in the README for each of the types of annotation that we've used and that there's a parameter section here. You may have noticed in the video annotation that we sampled that there was a tracker parameter that we could configure and there's other advanced functionality you might want to know about. For example, there's the score threshold parameter that's completely configurable. You can also add the model path parameter to specify which model you'd like to use for each type of labeling. This allows you to use custom YOLO models as well as providing the ability to compare different YOLO models in the same task, either for similar or different labeling tasks. With the configurability of our system, the world is your oyster. You can find out more about these options in the README. Finally, let's circle back to talking about what to do with longer videos. YOLO processes each video in its entirety, and this processing time may be longer than the timeout window provided by Label Studio. Not to worry, you can still label your videos. We've built out a command line interface, or CLI, exactly for this purpose. You'll provide your Label Studio URL, shown here as ls-url, and your Label Studio API key, shown here with the parameter ls-api-key, along with the project ID and the tasks that you'd like to label. These tasks can be provided either as a list of JSONs or as the task numbers from Label Studio directly. Then we'll take care of loading the YOLO model based on your project specifications and we'll process each video with the results then being posted right to your Label Studio instance. This process is asynchronous, which means you won't face any timeout issues. For more, you can check out the README. Woo, we covered a lot in this video. To summarize, with the YOLO integration for Label Studio, you can now use the YOLO V8 model to pre-label your image and video data in a multitude of customizable ways. We'll link the README in the description so that you can find out more about this integration. Happy labeling!